Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 38 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We just defeated Yorin Yuki and recruited him into a party and now we get to look at the aftermath. So, we saved Raroso from the erupting volcano. And now we visit them. Well, she's being nice and polite and thanking us. So this is an improvement over the last time we saw her. Alright, so we're going to accept your gratitude and we expect you're not going to try and take the castle anymore. Alright? Fia calls Zavaro out. Since Zavaro is actually still angry about getting kidnapped. And Zavaro calls Fia out on him on not being angry that he was kidnapped. Well, Zavaro wasn't hurt in the incident and they made a connection so she's happy. Yeah, man. As long as she gets her connections, anything goes, huh? So, connections. Do you recall, of course, that Fia declared herself the goddess of connections to Rishu when they first met? And they had an argument. But... Alright, Risha and Seiri actually has something to say to us. Are we going to get an explanation? Explanations would be nice. We get explanations of what the hell is going on in this whole plot line. So, Risha and Seiri has been informed of what happened in the volcano and the fact that that spirit reacted to her specifically the spirit in there had a contract with the Rao Rosso which it should have kept but it reacted to a stronger existence and broke the contract and went haywire and all. And because it was a higher existence, she has to recognize that ha that was Fia. So she is going to recognize Fia as a goddess. Because she's learned in the history of Raroso, she is qualified to make that judgment. Thanks? Oh, this is nice. Does Fia know of Fiusia, the god? So, no, she's never heard of him. You know, Avaro and Kisnir had a conversation specifically talking about that. Didn't this get passed along to her? Anyway, Fia doesn't know it. She probably doesn't know the god. But it's odd that his name resembles Fia's. And we just let that pass by. So she's okay with her not knowing this Fusia. And she kneels before Fia. Alright, in the name of Rao Rosso, she, the ruler of the she, the ruling power, 
declares her loyalty to Fia. So she's going to be a shield to protect her and a sword to fight her enemies and be by her side and support her. How nice. Obviously all the flowery language lost Fia. But she gets the Rishuen Seiri is going to be helping us now. So, from the very beginning, Raoroso was a god-following town. And furthermore, the high-level spirit that was sealed inside of Doshua Peak was the work of a god, some god. But reacting to a god's will, that, that spirit broke free and caused some trouble. So, we've got to say this is connected to the fate of Rao Rosso. So, Rishu and Sally have originally doubted Fia caused the volcanic eruption back when it happened in the baths, but now she does believe it was Fia. Exactly. Yep, when Fia came to Rao Rosso, that's when it happened. So, I guess that's all the proof we need. And now that we caused the problem and then fixed it, everybody's grateful to us. You know, that seems to be how we get more gratitude. Okay, it's not just because we saved them, but also because Fia is a goddess. How nice. But they won't be lending us any soldiers because the soldier's job is to protect Rural Rosso directly. And that being the case, she is going to, as the representative party, come to the castle and stay with us. Well, even if it's just her, she's pretty reliable. Alright, so glad that that's all glad that that is all run through and we're gonna say that trouble we had before is water under the bridge. So let's get along well and have fun in the castle. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Fio is saying, well, it's interesting how people can come to understand each other while coming to blows. Yeah, Rishu says, you're not a person, though. So, we're going to have fun in the castle and she's pleased to be working with you. <laughs> she's happy too. Funny, this is the part where she usually joins our party. So, next day.
っきの戦闘にて失った血が足りませんわシェフどんどん持ってくるのです She says she lost too much blood in the last battle, so she needs to recover it by stuffing herself, I guess. How much can she eat by herself? So, she's keeping our chef busy. Alright, here's some. Please eat it slowly. She's impressed by the taste. Gives her compliments. Yeah, she's getting pretty used to receiving those. Seconds! She's too fast. Uh, so, what the hell's going on here? So, this wasn't merely seconds, but about the tenth course. Normally, it was pretty lively in cooking, but even she's getting tired. Oh. Yeah, I've always just watching her is feeling full. So, good morning, Rishu. You eat a lot, don't you? Rishu invites Avaru, says good morning as well, and invites Avaru to join her, and offers to feed him. Uh, no. And anyway, I can eat by myself, thanks. <laughs> Well, now he doesn't hold, have to hold back. As his wife, it's one of her duties to take care of him like this. So, since when? Hey, uh, uh, Fia doesn't want her doing that. Fia wants to be the one doing it. Okay. Although addressing Fia as her lady, she really needs to read the situation better. Since these two loving couples, this loving couple is alone together talking, she shouldn't butt in. You weren't alone together in the first place. Fia wants to be the one to flirt with Avaro. Oh, whatever. So, Rishu and Teori is telling Avaro to look only at her. Oh boy. Look, don't you two try and pull me into a fight. So, they're totally going to get in a fight over him. And after she pledged her loyalty to Fia, this is how she treats her. Ha! Huh. So, on the one hand, Fia is her master now, but on the other hand, this is the man she loves, and that's a different matter entirely. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh. So, she's now decided that. She has all the proof she needs that Avaro is in love with her. So, 
妻である私のことを迎えに来てくれたのです So, Havaro came in and bravely rescued her from that flaming hell. So, this is clearly her, him coming to rescue his beloved wife. <laughs> yeah, she could see it in his eyes. Avaro wasn't the only one who came to rescue you. In fact, gameplay wise, he wasn't even close. Okay. Now that she's presented to prove her conclusion is simple, Avaro has chosen her. <laughs> Interesting here, she's talking about our goals. Our goal is all the same, that is to go up north to the God's Haze. Since it's been forbidden by the kingdom, and she hates this particular kingdom, in this way, she can learn the secrets of our kingdom, which we're trying, which they are trying to hide so hard. You know, is she saying that Avaro chose this goal for her? I wouldn't put it past her. Oh, yes, that's exactly what she's saying. Secretly, she... That has been Avaro's goal the entire time. For her sake and for Valrosa's sake. Okay, if he is going to object. She didn't listen. Alright, so... Rauros has been saved by the hero of our and following that she gets to be the wife. Etc. etc. Deepening loves. So Alright, so pretty soon she'll be done eating. So, quit lollygagging around. Hurry up, start moving the castle so we can run rampant over in Fru's kingdom. Now, Avaro wants to give the orders. No, wait, that's Fia, not Avaro. Huh, well, anyway, we're going to the God's Haze, so I guess it'll be... So, Rishu is Avaro's wife. But Avaro belongs to Fia. Uh, having sex is alright, but you definitely can't go steady. This is getting, getting noisy. Okay. So these two get along so well they can fight together. Well, we are working together on a certain level, so it's fine. And I'm going to call it a day. I will see you next time, YouTube. Ah, finally. Tamamore no Michi no Shoujo.